This is one of the famous Olmec ball player heads, about 3,000 years old. And Ed, who was our geologist, has just told us that the material it's made out of is volcanic tuff. It's not basalt. Volcanic tuff is not that hard a material. So it is quite conceivab conceivable that even with uh, bronze age tools or stone tools, that these Olmec people could have shaped these enormous sculptures. We're going to see, though, if there are also basalt ones, basalt being a much harder stone. So here we are in the Jalapa Museum, and we'll see what else we can find. So the Olmec are still a big mystery. They are one of the oldest, if not the oldest, cultures in what we call Mexico, dating back at least 3,000 years. They were an older culture than the Maya, the Toltec, the Teotihuacan, and the Aztec. And Olmec simply means the rubber people, and that was an archaeological name given to them because no one knows what they called themselves. We're in the Jalapa Museum on the Gulf Coast of Mexico, and this museum is phenomenal. Uh, it's a huge collection of Olmec and other culture, um, art, stone. The huge Olmec heads are here, undercover, being protected. Uh, this is a state-of-the-art museum, as fine as any you would find on the planet. And, interestingly, we also find examples of cranial deformation and elongated heads. So this is the Zapotal culture. You can see the flattening of the top of the head here. Then somewhat like we see on the coast of Peru, somewhat like the Paracas, but the Paracas from more extreme. And then an even greater example, again, similar to the what we call the cone heads of Paracas in Peru. So from the same island, or same area, uh, but on an island called the Island of Idols, here we have what a normal human skull looks like. There you have the one suture and another suture there. That's what every normal human skull looks like. Then we have this one. You can see it has an extra suture going. So 
from this suture forward. And you can see the shape is clearly altered. And here again from the island of Idols, 900 to 900 AD to about 1521 AD. And it is missing the sagittal suture that should be running this way. And another one from the island of Idols, again lacking the sagittal suture. Another point about the giant heads is that most archaeologists or people in general think that the noses are flat, but in the fact, or in many cases, the reasoning is, be, is because of the shape of the stone itself. You see as I come down, the sculptor couldn't, possibly couldn't project the nose out too far because of the, the nature of the stone. Maybe. Maybe this here was the flat surface of the stone because other sculptures of the Olmec depicting their faces show almost typical noses of most other cultures.